What's up guys, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 Vendor Reset video. This is going to be Cassie Mendoza. Sorry, I could not do it this week. She was bugged for me. Every time I try to do it, it's ridiculous. So finally, she's actually got stuff and she's got some amazing, amazing roles. Some god roles and some really, really good two named items. So make sure you come to Cassie right now. She will be closing soon. I don't even know if she refreshes or not the, the items in her stash because I haven't seen this before. So definitely come to Cassie. Uh... What you're going to do is you're going to find the snitch. If you guys, I know a lot of new viewers might be watching this. So you've got to find the guy called the snitch. So the best places to go is, I would say personally, is go to the 1040 safe house, which is right over here. Then run just up the road under an archway. You'll see him over there. Another place where you can find him is where, I, not not my favorite place, but probably my second favorite, favorite place. Uh, fast travel to the shop, safe house. Then run directly north just east of the mast control point he will be right there on a patio like on, on a few steps he'll be standing there or right over here west of the main mission the lincoln memorial right over there and this is where i go all the time he's always here he'll be right there where i've marked right there by this funny looking building just east of uh, just west of the truman safe house that's the best place you go accept the bounty and then you'll see this item show up a shopping cart bear in mind it closes and opens all the time so it's quite awkward but at the moment now it's open for another few hours so definitely come and buy let's have a look and i'll show you guys exactly what she has she has the white death i miss the snow this is a beast of a marksman rifle this is what i'm going to be using it's got 137 percent headshot damage so it's above god roll it's insane you will not get higher than this make sure to purchase this and you can just re-roll the marks and rifle damage to max. I'm sure you guys can do that through the recalibration library and all that stuff. So it's got Optimist, which is very, very nice. But I wouldn't use it for a marks and rifle. Um, you could, ideally, because, you know, if you think about it, for every 10% ammo, you've only got five bullets, for example. So you could get a pretty decent amount of, of damage. But it only stacks, uh, I don't know exactly how much it stacks up to. Uh, but it, it could be pretty good probably just the whole magazine so this could potentially be strong but i would recommend putting something else on but that's the thing is do you want to go for optimist or do you want to keep the marks and rifle roll are you okay with having nine percent potentially i guess it depends how you want to play it you could buy two actually so you could buy two and have one for different roles it's up to you guys um then what we have is the punch drunk i'm sure you guys remember this from the previous patch which is very very good it had perfect concussion now it's a douglas on harding set with pistol damage stability and accuracy not the best set but it, you know if you want to make a pistol build we've got 11.8 weapon damage 10.9 percent headshot damage which is a god roll above god roll by the way and then crit chance 3.6 percent with an offensive mod slot it is a must buy very very nice i recommend you guys buying one or two of these because one in your stat in your library and then keep one on you so buy at least two I recommend you guys. It's not expensive. It's only 5,000 credits. I've got 800,000. I'm sure you guys can afford it. Then we got the True Patriot backpack. True Patriot is really, really strong right now. I'm not going to go over the full set. I will be dropping builds on it. I'm trying to farm. I've got some crazy builds in line for you guys. One will be dropping today. Then True Patriot, this one's got 111,000 armor with 11% weapon handling. Anyone on console, if you stack weapon handling, which you can a lot in this game right now, you can do, you can have amazing control of your weapons. So this has got uh, increased red, white, and blue debuff. So it, it, it's insane. I recommend buying all these pieces, keeping them in your stash uh, whenever you guys get a chance. And this has also got 7.7% headshot damage and 120k armor. Very, very nice. Tip of the spear gloves, 10.4% weapon damage with repair skills. I'm buying all of this hardwired knee pads with 8.6% status effects and one skill tier. Very nice. Aces and eights holster with a very nice weapon damage roll, 11.1% with some armor regeneration per second. Aces and Nate's mask with a great 12.2% weapon damage or status effects. I would roll crit chance over there or headshot damage. Probably headshot damage to be fair. Tactical Vector SBR with 14% SMG with 11 crit damage. Crit chance, sorry. Optimum range of weapon and damage increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine, which is Optimist. Very nice. Strained would be ideal on a weapon like this, so I would roll strained on this. Then we've got an ACS-12. Shotgun damage, damage armor, headshot damage, as you guys can see, it's nothing special, but Reformation is a really, really good talent right now. Uh, just hitting headshots gives you 30% skill repair, which is crazy, crazy strong for any kind of build. Not even just not even skill power builds, just normal DPS builds, because you can heal yourself a lot better. Providence Defense, now this is one of my favorite sets. 10% headshot damage, 10% crit chance, 15% crit hit damage, and it's got 12.9% weapon damage as well with hazard protection and repair skills protected reload is really really good as well and it actually give your allies up to 18 percent armor it's really really strong and i recommend you guys buying this and keeping it in your stash then we got a nice uh, healer god holster with 98k 
armor, 8.2% explosive resistance, and 3.4k armor regeneration. Offensive mod for crit damage, 9.6%, not bad, and extra sniper ammo weather coating level 40 mod for the turret, the sniper turret. That's it for Cassie Windows this week. Some great items, definitely come and purchase them. Some god roll stats, above god roll stats. So make sure to come and buy them. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more Division 2 vendor reset videos. I do them every single week. It'll be on Tuesdays. This, this week was a bit busy for me, so I do appreciate you guys' patience. And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace out, guys.